James Gallo, Derek Kletzel in the Golden West Trailer and Equipment Broadcast booth heading downstairs for the Bagri Coaches Show with assistant coach Scott King. Uh, Scott, a game where you feel as though the, the Warriors had their opportunity to take control, um, but maybe some mistakes in some areas of the game just kind of came back to hurt the guys? Yeah, I mean, I thought we, we had a pretty good look to make it 4-1. Uh, didn't go, and then the game changed from there, but we definitely had our opportunities to, you know, to, to widen the lead. Um and just didn't uh, find a way to score. So, uh, you know, they hung around and they found a way to, to keep pushing. And, um, you know, we lost uh, Golly there at the back end. That hurt a little bit. So uh, no excuses. But, uh, yeah, we definitely had our opportunities to, to kind of put them away a little bit earlier. And if we did that, it probably would have been a different outcome. Did you like the energy that your team had to begin this hockey game? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it uh, came out real hard. Obviously, a lot of excitement and energy in the building. Um, uh, you know, we pushed hard. We, we had a good uh, period and a half. And uh, like I said, we had our opportunities to widen the lead and couldn't do that. But uh, no, Regina, they keep coming. They're a hardworking team. Uh, that's their identity. They play like that for the last, uh, well, since I've been in the league. So uh, we knew they wouldn't give up. And, uh, you know, uh, Bedard got going there and uh, he got three. So. so when you guys jumped up 3-1, they, they started to turn the tides in terms of they really wanted to start playing more physical. They seemed to be throwing quite a few hits through the middle. So yeah, they were, you're absolutely right. I think uh, I think John probably had a pretty good talk with him and told him to ramp up the uh, the physicality, and they did that. And uh, I don't think we backed down at all. But uh, you know, they they pushed and they they knew that it was an important game for them. And uh, I also think that uh, you know they were aware of uh, the back end, and I mean, had some guys dinged up, and uh, you know they they kept coming. So I credit them. They they played hard and made it hard on us, but. Um, you know, I liked the way we battled all weekend. We had a pretty young roster, and I thought a lot of guys, uh, you know, did everything they could. And it also looked like maybe ran a little bit of gas there uh, towards the start of the third period. That's exactly what I was going to say. We have a young roster, not used to playing back to back games at, at that pace for sure. Lots of guys started to look like they, they were a little bit slow. And uh, once you get tired, uh, it's mental mistakes, right? The two turnovers in the pitch was not too common. Absolutely. It's, uh, you know, these guys, they've been here, they're battling and uh, uh, credit them. They, uh, they kept, kept working, kept pushing, but uh, you know, I think fatigue does play a little bit of a factor and it did look like we ran out of gas and uh, you know, we had some of our veteran guys play a lot of minutes as well last night and tonight and uh, looked like they were starting to get a little bit fatigued as well. And uh, it's just the way the lineup is right now. So, um, you know, we'll take the good and uh, move from here. So, you know, get the win Regina last night was huge, but uh, definitely had our opportunities to have a different game tonight. Down lineup for sure. Competed really hard with the, with the Pats in the big rival of series. What you like about all those young guys, man? There's a lot of talent in that group in that effort. Yeah, that's the exciting part is uh, the future is definitely bright. We've got uh, a lot of young kids that uh, had real good training camps. Uh, you know, they, they showed what they can do. And I think it's just a matter of them getting a little bit stronger uh, and once you put that weight on, uh, they'll be able to, to be real good players at this level. And uh, for them to step in, um, you know, it could be good on the list, but they all really battled hard. And uh, the future is definitely bright, and that's a real good group of young players there. Magri coaches show the assistant coach, Scott King. Scott, thanks for joining us here tonight. Good luck coming up next weekend. Thanks, guys.